This region's not just got the natural resources, but it's also got each of the technologies represented. And that's what prompted us to think about using those technologies, forming them into a, a renewable energy trail and building a fabulous resource that's, that's an education resource. It's an industry resource. It's also tourism. It's bringing people into this region. And when you go and have a look at Crookwell too, you stop in Crookwell and you buy your woolen socks and you have a coffee. And that's really good for, for regional economies. So many school children are getting interested in renewables as it grows as an industry because underpinning all this is the environmental benefits. So along the Renewable Energy Trail we've got a, a range of these technologies demonstrated including Boko Rock Wind Farm. The use of wind has been around for centuries. In the last 20 years the wind turbine industry itself has made large advancements in efficiencies. We, we see each year a different generation of turbine is brought out more efficient, lighter, quicker to build, and of course, pushing the envelope of design life now out to 25, 30 years. One thing that we've noticed here is the responsiveness. We're monitored 24 seven by GE Network, which allows us to have call out crews as required. Further along the trail again, is the Woodlawn Bioreactor. And this is an incredible place to visit. The Woodlawn Bioreactor receives about 40% of Sydney's rubbish and our core objective is, is to stabilise the waste to produce methane and which is produces electricity. We have six megawatts of installed capacity uh, at the moment. Uh, we're looking to put the seventh megawatt in uh, in 2017. So yeah, we're expanding as we go. They're pulling the organic waste out and recycling it to rehabilitate a mine site which is fixing a really bad scar in the landscape. And also, they use the waste heat to warm water to keep barramundi growing and thriving and then they then sell those fish into the local markets and, and we're eating them in our restaurants. So, great regional economic development spin-offs. So at Gugong, there is a mini hydro, which is a fascinating little way of producing power. It is also a hugely scenic site with a renewable energy trail sign up there to provide information on how that technology works. Further up to the northeast of the trail, we have Gullen Range Wind Farm, which are now doing a really interesting experiment and they're integrating solar in with the wind as well, because obviously with renewables, sometimes the wind blows, sometimes the sun shines. Here we are at the Goulburn Visitor Information Centre the site chosen by Tesla to host their first regional electric vehicle supercharging station. There are eight charging stations here, all powered by renewable energy. Just plug in and charge up. 